All right, you're welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Today is World Sickle Cell Day, and in celebration of this day, we have two representatives from the Sickle Cell Aid Foundation, and they are here today to share their story. They are volunteers with SCARF, and not only will they share their story, they will tell us more, uh, more things that we need to know about sickle cell, as well as how important it is, most especially to check your genotype before you get married. Today we're joined, with my immediate right, I have um, Abdul Salam Ridwan. Thank Hello. you for joining us. Thank you very much. And on my extreme right, I have Oye Sola Oni. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me again. It's good to have you again. Yeah. It's been one year, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Great. Read one. Tell us, yeah. you know, you're a volunteer with the Sickle Cell Aid Foundation. Yes, How has that been for you? Um, volunteering with them is actually very nice. I mean, it's one of the things I look up to. It's one of the things I have been, you know, purpose in life that I've wanted to do. And... Um, it's really nice to volunteer with them, to be able to spread the message of sickle cell, to be able to help fellow warriors like myself, to be able to help them discover, you know, that help them understand that having sickle cell or living with sickle cell is not a death sentence. You can still be, live with sickle cell and still be at your best. So, At what age did you realize that you, you had sickle cell? What age did it dawn on you that you were living with sickle cell? Um, I would say 12, 13. You know, that was the age I got the understanding of the whole situation, you know. I got to understand the whole thing. So it was interesting, yes. And, you know, how did, it, how did that affect you as a young boy? Mm, yeah, it didn't really have much effect on me because I, I would have to be honest, I had it very smooth growing up. You know, um, I didn't have too much complications growing up. It was until I got to... Senior secondary, that was when I had my first major crisis. But growing up, it was, but I, I, I was scared for a whole lot. I didn't know it was because I had sickle cell. I guess my parents knew, but they didn't, I couldn't understand, but I had you, it smooth. You basically had a smooth journey, but Oishala, was that your story as well? Um, yeah, yes, but um, I started going to hospital really early on. So my, my parents discovered when I was two, but I was always in and out of hospital when I was younger. But when I grew, when I got into secondary and university, that was when I had my own smooth sailing. But thankfully, I've not had any of the major complications from sickle cell, because it can have a lot of complications. But I've so far nothing, just my regular crisis that I manage. When you say your regular crisis, you know, give us a picture of what exactly a crisis situation is like. OK, so I could be just sitting here, just chilling. And next thing, there's a sharp pain running through my spine. And before you know it, I'm crying. I'm in tears. Um, you know, the, there was one I had um, early this year. I was begging the doctor to take off my leg, take off my leg, because it was like the leg was on fire. The pain was much. Like they were squeezing my bone, they are stepping on it. You can, I, can't, I can't explain it. It can't be described, you know, it can't be described. Is that, is that exactly how you feel, Ridwan? Yes, as you said, the, the feeling is indescribable, seriously, because you don't, you don't know, like... You just go from zero to 100 in, 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 in a space second. <laughs> yes, one million. We can actually say that because it's, it's, it's really an experience you don't want a fairly human to have. Trust me. Now, you're a sickle cell warrior. Yes. You've gone ahead to make the best out of your life. You're a mom. Tell us about some of the things that you do. Um, I used to work in, um, in 9 to 5. I was in corporate communications, but um, about three years ago, I I started my own journey. I left paid employment because my health was getting in the way, you know, the commute from mainland to the island. So now I work for myself. I run um, a kid's business and I'm into travel. So I run Niger Kids Travel too on Instagram, you know, just encouraging Nigerian parents to take their children all over the world. So that, those are the things I do. I'm a mother, businesswoman, and then I volunteer a lot because, you know, I've seen that a lot of people see... I, met, I went somewhere one day and a lady told me that, are you, do you, are you sure you have sickle cell? I said, they said, oh, that means there's hope for my daughter. I said, why would you think there's no hope? And that's why I think we need, to, we need to show people more that you can be anything. So when volunteers come out and speak, true life experience is not from books or anything. Others can see that, yes, indeed, there is hope and, you know, the sky is the limit or even the starting point. Indeed. Ridwan, what's, what's your story? What are you into? Okay, so I'm a digital strategist. I'm with um, Caveman. Um, so I actually chose to, to do my own thing because, you know, as I said, I had it smooth when I was younger. But, you know, growing up with sickle cell for me has actually been a lot tougher now. I've had major complications recently. I've battled with preapism. I'm still on it. I had my first transfusion recently. So 
right now I'm just starting to like have a, um, a share of my own battle. So that is why I actually chose to concentrate more on my health and actually do something that can give me time. So, you know, time and, and the rest. So, as she said, um, sickle cell, it's different for each individual. Right. It's, it's for her, she had it earlier on. For me, I'm just starting my own now. For others, it's always been, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out. So we have different battles and we, we, we fight it differently. So but for me, I'm, I'm winning. Indeed, you are winning. Uh, I'm are. winning. I'm winning. So, and one thing is that um, I find it easier now because I've been able to understand the whole concept. You know, that's that's how, that's one thing that I, I thank God for. I've been able to understand. Okay, this is this. This is this. This is this. So, so just for the you know for the avoidance of doubt, because there's still people who don't understand how sickle cell comes about. There's still people who don't you know know their genotype, even as adults that are yes. planning to get married. So. How exactly does sickle cell come about? Sickle cell is an inherited blood disorder that um, you get from both parents. So if you t a child that has sickle cell will take S from the father and S from the mother, and that is SS. But we do have SC, because some people are AC. So if AC and AS marry, a child may take the C from one and take the S from the other. That's SC. It's also sickle cell, but it's a... Uh, a milder version, so to say. We also have um, the thalassemia, but what is more rampant in Nigeria is the S SS and then SC. So we advocate that people should go out for genotype testing, you know, not just when you're about to marry and the church says, go and test. At the beginning of a relationship, you know, you, you go. And the, now the thing is that there are, lots of, um, in, a lot, there are a lot of carriers in Nigeria because of the peculiar nature that we have the highest body. So we have a lot of carriers. So there are people that may not find somebody that is compatible. So for couples that are not compatible medically, there are some technologies that they can use to cross that order. So we tell people to seek medical counseling, genetic counseling, and see if they can go forward. What would you say are some of the things that you'd rather people not say to people living with, you know, sickle cell? And the stigma, the stigmatization, the stereotyping, you know, some of us, have, we've had to, you know, lose jobs because we live the, with this condition. Some of us have had to lose relationships with value a lot because of this condition. You know, we have situations whereby you're, 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 you're in love with someone, she's in love with you as well, but the other family won't allow you to go ahead because they feel, okay, we don't want our daughter to get married to someone who die untimely. You know, Africans have this very, very awkward mentality about us. So, yes, sickle cell is dreadful. Sickle cell can be a whole lot complicated, but we have warriors who live to see their grandchildren. So we don't, they shouldn't limit us to the fact that this is who we are. We are going to, we, are, we have a certain age bracket to live with, no. All right, thank you very much for that powerful message. Let's talk about Sickle Cell Aid Foundation. And we know that year in, year out, you constantly advocate for people not just to get tested, you know, but people to understand what exactly living with sickle cell means. I'm sure you have a program, you know, strategy, a program to mark this year's um, celebration. Um, yeah, then, uh, we had the, co um, the coalition of NGOs. So on Saturday, we had the Red Umbrella Walk, where we walked at, um, um, in um, Unilag, you know. Um, today, we've gone to different stations to raise awareness. We, have a pro we had a program in Abuja over the weekend. So, you know, we've been going around to spread the awareness. And no, we don't only spread the awareness. We advocate that people should know their genotype. We also help with um, beneficiaries for some that need to do some procedures that cannot afford it. So we help to supplement some of the bills. We also um, preach blood donation. We have a sister um, that does blood donation because we, we, we do tend to take a lot of blood when you're, when you're ill. I've had four pints this year. So some people go to the hospitals, they tell them that you need to bring a donor. So we also do that. We tell people to come and do donate voluntarily and also help people to get blood donors when they're in hospital. Fantastic. And I know that, you know, we celebrated World Blood Donor Day, if I'm correct, on the 12th of June. 14th, 14th, 14th of yes. June, yes. And where we advocated for people to go out and donate blood. So long as you're up to 18 years of age, you're up to 50 kg in weight, you're healthy and you've, you don't have a flu, you've not had a tattoo yes. in the past six months, yes. you know, you've not dealt with the flu, you know, you do currently don't have a flu or some sort of infection. So just in case you're watching this and you've decided that you'd like to donate some blood, they also have a sister arm called Hyma Health. Health. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. So please follow at Timer Health on Instagram to uh, find out how you can be a part of this and how you can donate blood. Your blood can save a life. Really. Yeah, three yeah. lives actually. Yeah. From a pint of blood, you can save three lives. Fantastic. The full blood, the, um, the platelets, and then the, there's another one, Sha. Three oh. lives, yeah, from your pint. Interesting. Pints. All right. You know, final words, you know, let's talk about what you would like to say to people watching, people living with 
sickle cell as well as people not living with sickle cell? Okay, first and foremost to the warriors, um, one thing you should know um, is that your condition does not limit you. You can be anything. As uh, Mrs. Oyesola said some days ago, you, you are sickled in the cell, you're not sickled in the brain. So don't let people give you this pity look. You know, you're, you're limitless, go out there and do your thing. Brilliant. And what are your final words as well? Um, I would say that don't, don't, don't let it get to you mentally. A lot of people are, have, have given up mentally. Even before the pain comes, you know, they're depressed. Look, at, you need to look for a mentor, somebody that mentors you. We have the oldest woman living with sickle cell in Nigeria. She's over 90. So what's, what's the fear? You know, so many people are doing brilliantly well with it. So just, just believe that, you know, you would overcome the others. There will be others, but they're overcomable. And um, you, you, you do fine with it. Right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You for Thank, Thank you for sharing this us. message. Thank you. For more information, how can people follow Sickle Cell Aid Foundation? Um, we're on Instagram at Scaf Nigeria. We're on Twitter, very active on Twitter. You can also check AIMA Health. And if you just um, um, go with um, like um, sickle cell awareness, if you follow the hashtag on Instagram, you see a lot of warriors cell. that tweet and then they hashtag, and you can follow any of them for inspiration. Yeah. All right, indeed. On this day, this World Sickle Cell Day, we join our voices and we lend our voice to the course that the Sickle Cell Aid Foundation, as well as other organizations, are trying to push, lecturing people and educating people more about what sickle cell is about telling people to go get tested please know your genotype don't wait until you get into a relationship yes. go and check your genotype and don't check once do a confirmation yeah. because yeah. i remember that i have been given two different results it happens before. a lot and that's why a lot of couples you know some the husband one will say you've cheated but you find out that maybe the wife had the, somebody one of them had the wrong, the wrong results, results you know exactly. so we need better labs actually the government needs to step in people are still being given wrong results so, so i was given the wrong yeah some will say i was i was ss and now i'm as uh, it, you probably were given the wrong results Indeed, and this is where we draw the quote on today's conversation about World Sickle Cell Day. Please go get tested, and if you know anyone who hasn't gotten tested, make sure you remind them today to walk to the nearest pharmacy or to the nearest laboratory and get themselves tested as well. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.